Hey everyone, welcome back to the Resident Evil 2 Remake. So I've switched from the ray tracing version of the graphics down to just 60 FPS because we are going to knife the fuck out of Birkin in, in just a few moments in. It actually helps to switch to frame rate because you can get in a lot more hits and a lot more damage on him. I've turned up the brightness um, about as high as my eyes can stand all the way up just so, so you can guys... So you guys can have a clearer picture of what's going on. Because I noticed even with even with the brightness turned up the last video, it's still kind of dark. I had to actually turn up my brightness on my laptop to see properly. So this, this is just a very dark game. It's just a very dark game. So unfortunately, I, I think I have to put it as high as I possibly can without it becoming grating to my eyes. Because... It's not going to help if I'm too blinded by the brightness to see properly, so... Gotta find the right balance. I don't think we need to use any of this board for anything else. I think we already boarded up all the necessary windows. I'm trying to think if we need some more ammo or not. Because um, we are going to get the flash grenade in the star's office. We aren't going to get that, so... I'm trying to think, what else do we need? So I don't think we need one of these. Yeah, let's just go for it. Whatever. Let's just go. I think we also get the battery up there. Oh damn, it is still dark as hell. Jesus Christ, you can barely see what's going on the fuck on the fucking screen. Alright, so which I'm trying to figure out which one is the best. Which one is the one that keeps interfering with it? Because that one's fine. Okay. So that one's fine. I guess. I guess we do that one. Maybe the picture. Let's see how that looks. Marginally better. Um, It is way too bright for me now, but... um. You guys should be able to see. Yeah, you guys should be able to see fine at this point. Um, yeah, I don't know why they made this game so dark. I appreciate having to use the flashlight, but... Leon, yeah, put in the damn valve handle. What are you doing? Yeah, I appreciate the, the use of the flashlight, but I just... um. Would have preferred if they, if they actually had proper lighting, everything wasn't all dark. Because what tends to happen is the game tends to look a bit washed out. If you put the brightness all the way up. And it also resets every playthrough, I mean... Yeah, it resets every playthrough, so... You kind of just, um... You kind of have to uh, reset it back and forth. But the problem is, if you keep doing that... You might forget what the settings were that were actually worked pretty fine, so... We do have to kill this guy, so... What in God's name? Oh god damn, it's mega bright in here. But hopefully it's good for you guys. Combine that with the detonator. Alright. There's the locker that we already opened. We don't need that right now. We cannot open the computer yet. We don't have the... The dongle key. Yeah, the game looks super washed out at this point, but... Everything to preserve the atmosphere, right? Is that Jill's dog, or... Is it, um... The dog was someone of, like, it's a relative or something. Because she didn't have a dog in the apartment. So whose dog is that? And what are they doing there? wonder if we should combine these right, right away or not. I try to save them for the, um... For the end. So when we have a lot of the, the higher grade gunpowder... 
let's see the flower for now. I mean the, the pink herb. Let's or the red herb. Even though it looks pink, but they say it's red, so. Alright, where is this guy? Where did he go? We do have to kill him because we're gonna be going through this hallway a lot, so um we actually do have to shoot him. If only we could get him like kinda like if we could get him to like um to follow us back to the um Oh here he comes. Follow us back to the star's office. Then we could retreat once we shoot him. And he's probably gonna go this way, in this direction. He takes a full three shotgun shells to kill, so you do need a lot of ammo for these guys. Huh? God damn, motherfucker. Did not. Um. Damn, even left the scratch marks. Did not activate that door quickly enough. We get tons of health later on in the game, but still, I did not want to take that hit. Now we have we have no choice but to take the red herb now and mix it with green. Unfortunately, the shotgun doesn't stun them the way the grenade launcher does, so... Oh, you're still there. Shit. Just clipping through the wall. I wonder if they were going to get rid of either that problem or not clipping through the wall. Because even uh, modern games all have it, that problem. Spider-Man has it. You know, um... I'm pretty sure probably Alan Wake has it too. Control had some of it. Robocop definitely has it, but that's a lower budget game, so um... I heard like a beep. Was that my laptop alone me on an update or was that the PS4? I mean PS5. I haven't updated the console in weeks so that might be the PS5. God damn, why is he above the door? Oh, there he is right there. Just quick. We might have to use the handgun a little bit just to get rid of him. Because he is not retreating. God oh, damn, why is he parked at the door? He never stops at the door the other times I've played this game. He's always away from it. Why is he there? Fucking hell, why is he parked at the door? Yeah, why is he guarding this, this door specifically? Where did he go? She's still above the fucking door. God damn. Go somewhere. We're stuck here. We gotta take him out somehow. Just shoot him in the back. Let's go. Yeah, I think we, um... I'm gonna have to sh use the handgun because I don't want to use all the shotgun bullets in that guy. We need some for Birkin just in case. Like, we're gonna try to kill him with the um, handgun and a few shotgun shells, but we need some extra ones just in case. God, what the hell? What the fuck? What the hell was that? God damn, that's never happened. He, he, he's like, did you see that? He was like fucking flew <laughs> right off the wall and into, right into the star's door. I have never seen that in my, what is it, like four years of playing this game. I've never once seen that happen. He just flew right off the door 
and collided almost with Leon if we hadn't uh, gotten back into the star's office. I don't know what the fuck happened there. It's like gravity stopped functioning all of a sudden. <laughs> or like it was his one last charge to kill us. No idea what went, what went wrong with that. Um, Right there. Oh, wait a second. We could have just gone downstairs and... Ah, it's still the same distance. Same, it's the same distance if we had gone to Marvin's box in this one. They also drop another liquor later on in this area. Yeah, let's store this for now because we are going to get more shotgun shells downstairs. Um, let's get some more health. Oh, we got a ton of health. What we need is just like one first aid spray for Burke and that's it. Let's store that. Let's reload our gun. We are going to use this up. Um, let's store the powder. Let's store the gunpowder. I like to keep the weapons lined up and all the ammo up here too. That way we can save these strictly for other items. We do need one flash grenade up for upstairs. I'm trying to wonder if we need any more. Mm. No, I think we should be fine as long as we don't linger t there too long because I do drop a liquor on you so... We should be fine. Let's go. Get the last medal and we can go down and confront Birkin downstairs. Yeah, I don't like the way the game looks now because it looks super washed out, but unfortunately that's that's a reality, you know, if if um, you're trying to record it, it just looks mega dark. I'd rather have it look washed out than um I'd rather have it look look washed out than not be able to see at all. Because even now, you can still barely see where you're going. It's just super, super, super dark. See, it's fine here because this is just, um, this area is well lit. But when you go downstairs, that's when the trouble starts. So you notice things don't look quite as good because I turned off the, um, I turned off the, ray tracing for Birkin so after we after we um take care of him we're gonna reload the game we're gonna go back out exit into the menu and just uh put the ray tracing on again because we only need it for him wonder what happens if Leon just stays there I know he dies but do you see him get blown to bits or not So yeah, that's a neat trick if you want to avoid having to push the shelf. If you go out here and then linger back, it'll automatically um, be upright. <laughs> you won't have to worry about um, pushing over the shelf again because um, it just automatically it'll stay upright the whole time. You see, so that's especially useful during the B scenario when you're dealing with Mr. X. You might not want to take the time to push over that shelf oh there you go he's dead yeah you might not want to take the time to push over that shelf so it makes it a lot more convenient if you could just run here of course the problem is that he can come in here to this door but that's something you gotta gauge the risk on like are you willing to have him come through that door or not or because taking the long wave to liquor is really difficult so i'd rather just try to take care of mr x because you can blind the liquor and outmaneuver him but mr x could hit you right through that door as you're um, as you're uh, trying to escape from him. Okay, so what was the um the notebook? Where was the notebook? Okay, so it's the goddess, the bow, and the snake. All right. There you go, the final medallion. All right, so there's gonna be a liquor who's gonna drop down here. You don't wanna drop it right, right away. You wanna wait until he's actually close to you. 
And then you just haul ass and get the hell out of there. You want to approach as you're going to throw it. And then just get the hell out of there. Because they do recover pretty quickly, so you don't want to linger. Anymore. And that's the very last time you need to go into that um, room, unless you're trying to escape from Mr. X. Which shouldn't be that difficult, because he doesn't move that fast, so... Yeah, there we go. We got the last medallion. I think we got everything, right? Except the stuff in the star's office that we can't get yet. We left that one herb over there. There's also a gunpowder in the safety deposit room. Um, we can get that later. Oh yeah, because we can't open the door. We don't have the second key. So the only thing we didn't get is just the, um, just the green herb. I guess we can go get it, just to have it. Might as well, right? Just get it out of the way. That way we have all the health on, uh, on us. It's right over there. I do like how the slashes stay on the clothes and stuff. One particularly uh, notable example. Might even say a juicy example was... um. Was the... Oh shit, I didn't notice those. Zo There's fucking zombies here? Oh, then fuck, it. fuck the green herb. Never mind then. We're getting the hell out of here. Fuck those zombies. I was, so, I was, so as I was saying, one particularly notable example was when I was playing as Claire on the PS4 version with the Elsa Walker costume and she got a slash from Birkin right across her ass and that stayed throughout the whole game on her outfit. Just that one long slash right across her rear end. Like, god damn. What a place to get slashed in, huh? And I think Leon took a slash to the axe from either a liquor or something. Yeah, it was a liquor, I think, in one of his outfits, too. What a place to get slashed in, right? What a place. Of all the places you could get a claw, it had to be that place. I imagine that would be pretty painful to move, too. So you definitely need to use a first aid spray and more on that area to desensitize it so you can actually move around. All right, it's time to say goodbye to Marvin. It's been real, but he's got to go. Still alive. Barely. Thanks, Brad. You did. You did the RPD a real solid, man. This should have left your ass behind in the Spencer Mansion. All right, so let's use the metal. I think that noise earlier might have been my laptop alerting me to a up to an update. I haven't updated that in a long time too. All right, let's go. Go down to the depths of the RPD. So in terms of difficulty, uh, how difficult did you find this game? I know the difficulty scales so it goes with you as you play the game. You know, depending on how you play, That's it gets it. either easier or tougher. That's our way out. D Lieutenant Brenner, was it um, as Marvin. tough as the original RE2 was for you, or did you find um, to this go. to be a lot tougher than the original? Marvin. <laughs> We need to get the original is pretty right easy now. nowadays, but I think um, no, no, I, uh, it did have its moments where it became yourself. super tough in some instances. No! Like when you start Look, facing you the super liquors near the end. It's too late. That's how you gotta do it, Marvin. You gotta convince him to back honor. down. But I could stop it. I like Marvin, man. We should have gotten to play more Can't as Marvin. Let this thing spread. It's on you now. Just go! I just thought of an idea. Imagine a remake or sequel to Resident Evil Outbreak where one of the stories was playing as Marvin just as the outbreak is starting to occur. I think that would be pretty awesome. Don't you? Getting some more time with the main man. You know, before Brad fucks him up. I think that would be pretty cool if we could play it one second with Marvin. Or maybe like if they bring back Kevin, Kevin Ryman, you get you have a scenario I won't let you down, Marvin. With him and Marvin playing side by side, and then Kevin's the only one that escapes because Marvin obviously gets caught, so that would be pretty cool, I think. So this was a neat little addition to the um Oh there's Dr. Morgan's hat right there. This was a neat little addition to the uh, setting here. I really liked it when they showed this in the trailers, um they showed that they were adding new areas that weren't there before. You know, to spice up the game, make it a bit more interesting. We're gonna keep that knife, but we're gonna pull out 
the other knife because we need it for working. It's going to take almost a full knife to slash him. Yep, there you go. There's some shotgun shells. I like this little miniature model, the RPD station too. That's nice with this little clock tower and everything. So we always save here because um, things do tend to go wrong with Birkin. So you do want to make sure you save here. Wondering what else we need. Because uh, there's a grenade downstairs. I think we need a flashbang. One flashbang. I think should be enough. Wondering if, if I should bring the ammo or not. I don't think I need this knife. I think we should be able to get away with just um, this one. So we need that. We need one flash grenade. You'll notice things took a bit dull since we turned off the ray tracing, so we'll put it back after this. Let's take out one, um... Let's take out one ink ribbon. I usually like to save, um... After we get the grenade downstairs. But we might as well save right now. Because I don't like to get that grenade back and forth in case things go wrong with, um with Birkin, but we can do it. At least Leon only has a shotgun and a handgun, so it's pretty easy to decide on what to do with. Claire, you really have to decide what ammo you want to risk bringing down there. Because some ammos are more useful later on, like the flames, so you don't want to waste it on William, but at the same time, like the acid might not work as well, so... Against that version, the acid does wonders against the later versions, but I'm not so sure it affects that one quite as much, so you might not want to bring it. I think there is more ammo downstairs. I think we can probably leave this behind. I think there is some more shotgun ammo downstairs. So we can leave that behind. Alright, I think we're set. Oh yeah, never mind. Um, I know what we need. We need some health in case he fucks us up and slashes us. In case Leon gets another slash across the ass, we need to be able to cure it. At least it wasn't his wiener, right? Slash right across the front of the crotch. That would be a lot more painful. And I'm, that's something that the first aid spray would not be able to heal, probably. I don't, I don't think it can heal amputation. Although it could, since it is umbrella, but still. Why take the chance? That we can get later. That's the, uh, ca that's the, um, not the cannon. I don't even know what, the barrel. That's the long barrel for the... Magnum that turns it basically into a hand cannon. That, that's what that does. I do think they gave away a bit too much of this boss battle in, in the trailers when we first saw it because you know I would have liked to have been more surprised wondering when we were going to fight Burke and knowing that we fought him this soon after going down there um, and also seeing how the entire battle was laid out and how it proceeded I think it was a bit too much of a spoiler. Like, obviously, Hello, it's a remake of a, what, like, 20-year game, whatever, but I still would have liked to be a bit more surprised. I don't quite like when they spoil major boss fights like that in game, in trailers. You know, I'm glad they, I'm really glad they kept the lizard boss fight out of the trailers for Spider-Man. You know, because that was, um, it was frustrating, but at the same time, it was, um, completely different from what I had imagined or expected, so I'm glad they kept it secret. So I learned this from, um, listening to streamers on Twitch and such that when you um, slash in, 50, in 60 FPS you deal a lot more damage to Birkin so it's a pretty easy and cheesy way to dispatch him you know it, it saves you some ammo you don't have to waste a lot of shotgun shells you don't have to waste a lot of um, handgun bullets it's a very quick and easy way to dispatch him so I think you can get about 18 to 20 slashes in before he does his first attack, with, which takes off a huge <laughs> amount of health. So that really helps you conserve ammo for the next section, where you will need it. There he is, the man. Wesker's, uh, Nam, Wesker's supposedly 
platonic buddy, you know what I mean? I'm not sure I buy that. Um, I don't think their relationship was wholly platonic, but you never know. Alright, let's, let's slash in the bit. Leon, come on, let's go. Jesus. We're going to work on this thing. No choice. You gotta take it down. Alright, we got 14 in. Let's uh, use the flash the flash band. You can keep flashing them too as you're down. Does a lot of damage, hell yeah. Now let's do the grenade. Slash him again. Oops, you got a grenade. I don't think we dealt enough damage. There's another one there, but we need to save that one for later. I don't think we dealt enough damage. I think we needed to um, slash him the third time with the. Nope, we are reloading. Cause that. Yeah, we screwed that up big time. I, uh, cause the problem is once he grabs you with the grenade, it's it doesn't have quite the same stun effect as it does normally. Um, you want to be able to. You gotta be able to throw it at his feet. Cause that way, that's the way it'll stun him and you can go back and keep slashing him. The way we did it there, where you just, when he grabs your head and you throw it to get him to release you, it just doesn't do enough damage, so. We gotta try that again. I also started slashing way too late. You have to do, as soon as the cutscene ends, you pretty much have to go right at him. I kinda hesitated a bit. Cause for some reason, I forgot the controls. Um, I always keep a hard... I always have a hard time keep, keeping track of which button is the slash button. What? So let's give this a second go. <laughs> After this I'm recording Spider-Man because uh, I am finally finished up with Spider-Man 2 and moving on to Dead Space which is going to be pretty exciting. Right, we saw this already. Whatever, Birkin. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta start right away. No choice. You gotta take it down. Alright, we got 16. That's pretty good, so. So now let's see with the shotgun. Okay, how do you go? Oh shit, there he is. Oh, the eye was open. Where is he? 
I wish you could see him where he is. Like, where is he actually hiding from? Really? I think all you fool. Always target the eye. Make sure you get the eye. That's the biggest weak point. I do wish both Leona and Claire had their own little individual boss battles Somebody's with him watching. instead of um, them sharing the same one because that was really lazy the way they did it. Where oh, they always get the same version of Claire, I mean they always get the same version of Birkin no matter who's playing and like I said it makes no sense towards the end like who's really fighting like G4 Birkin, who's fighting him and who's fighting the, the, um, the dog Birkin, like it just makes no sense the way they did it so you can tell it was a lazy grab like I heard the reason they did that originally was because they were just going to have like one scenario be the A scenario, the other scenario is going to be the B scenario and so that way they were going to have just one solid canon set of scenarios for the characters but then at the last minute they decided to change it to increase the play, the replay value and on the one hand I'm kind of glad they did because it does give some added replay value to the game. But the problem is now the story makes no sense because you have no idea who is fighting what boss at any given time. So who's really taking care like of this version of Birkin? Who's taking care of the second one? You know, it was more organized than the original. Claire had her version. Um, Leon had his and never did the two meet, you know. They were always separate independent boss battles against different stages of Birkin. But here it's just one big confusing mess, you know. Nobody knows what order things go in because they just made a mess of the whole scenario with the first and second run thing. So I really don't like that aspect of it. Like I said, it's a pretty damn great remake, but unlike Resident Evil 1, it's not a perfect remake. Like it's it's pretty highly up there. I'd say this def game is definitely at least like a 9.1 or 9.2 on the score meter, you know, on the scale of how you would rate a game from 1 to 10 it's definitely above 9.1 or 9.2 but the problem is there are some little details here or there that do hold the game back some little quibbles I have with the game that shouldn't have been there because they were never there originally in the original version of RE2 so why add a, why did they add them in when that when you know when like when that section of the game was fine all you had to do was just update it to modern graphics and standards you didn't have to change the whole thing but no I guess they I guess they just got overwhelmed, right? They didn't know what to do, so they just pulled out a half-assed scenario and kind of blew it. Alright, so now that we did that, um... I don't think we need to get a more... more, um... shotgun shells, because there are some more upstairs, so... Where is the next, uh, red herb? Do we have any more red herbs? Okay, so we only have that one, so we're gonna combine it with this gotta keep building out those herbs there you go store that let's organize everything um, we don't need this just, just yet that ex um, it extends the capacity for the Matilda um, I guess we could use it um we just use it we just uh, use the remaining eight shells there's also the knife uh, we sacrificed the knife to Birkin didn't we Okay, so we're going to pull out this one then. We don't need health. Yeah, I think we're all set. Yeah, we should be fine with that. Actually, I don't know if we even need the, the gunpowder because we're not going to bother with the zombies, so...
All right, let's go. This place is like a maze. Imagine working here every single day of your life. All the passageways and stuff that you'd have to navigate. Oh yeah, wait a minute, I almost forgot. There's a ray trace we gotta put back on. So we gotta, we actually have to save and then put it back on. Because we cannot change it. It's funny how you can't change it in the actual game menu, and in other games you can, like... I guess that's because it's an older game. They had to do it that way, but in Robocop you can change it back and forth, and in Control... Well, no, because even in Control you can change it back and forth, and it controls the PS4 game, so... Yeah, that's kind of odd. Why did they do it that way, where you can't change the ray tracing in the actual in-game menu? You have to exit out to the main menu, change it, and then go back in. Why did they do it that way? Because all the other games I've seen, they actually let you change it mid game so yeah we have to save so I'm gonna quit just for a moment just until we can put this back on go to graphics there you go ray tracing is on yeah cuz now that we did um that version of broken we don't need that uh, 60 FPS anymore that was just for that one fight because the knife is not that useful against them later on. And you see it is moving a tiny bit slower now. It's down to 30 FPS now. So that's fine. Like I said, the, the, play, the PlayStation 4 version is 30 FPS, right? That never bothered anyone. So it's fine for that version of Birkin. Yeah, it is a bit jittery now, but it does look better, right? With all the shadows and stuff. The nice blue from the police car. It does look better. Here's a classic scene with Ada. Which version Damn. do you prefer? Him Need where he gets car. attacked by the dogs here or the, or the original one where he just encounters her in the parking lot? Back down, Fido. Wouldn't the slobber infect him just from getting on him? It does not work that way, because then you have to buy it. And the blood too, like wouldn't that infect him also? Like, Who shouldn't he pour, I don't know, some alcohol or something over that Stay uniform? Sharp. Oh yeah, we didn't change Ada's outfit. Lower it. Damn. FBI. Hottest looking FBI agent Sorry. I've ever, ever seen. Thank Size you. Dana Scully. For your help. Although Scully wasn't hot, right? She was more like um, sexy in like a subtle way to a lot of people. Especially women. Women love Dana Scully. She's basically a lesbian icon at this point. It's not just because Gillian Anderson's a lesbian herself. Stop asking questions and get the hell out of here. Got it, Ada. You traitor. Ada wrong, everybody. Ada hey, wrong. I'm not done talking to you. The funny thing is, in the original RE RE2, when you went past the parking lot, she pretty much just disappeared. You have no idea where she went because there was no way where she could have gone. She just vanished. And it's here. It's the same thing. The power to the other cells is not turned on. So where the hell does she go? Where does she vanish to? Nowhere. There's no. There's no explanation whatsoever where she goes. Which stuff like that bugs me in games. Like they could have just had her hanging out nearby, near Ben, you know, um, watching Leon interrogate him or something. Yeah, because it just makes no sense where she goes. Okay, so we got that. The car, uh, car door code. Let's open this up right away. That's for the Matilda to get the three round burst. Oh yeah, we do need to we do need to use the um, Matilda because uh, we actually get the the cages with the dogs. Claire is the ones who gets the um, liquor, so we do have to we do actually have to use it. Now we don't have to actually shoot these guys. We can just go around them as long as you don't run or get too close to them. It won't disturb the um, 
it won't disturb the body, so you can just leave them there. You can kill them if you want, but it's not worth it. You, I'd rather preserve the ammo than spend any time wasting them. Because even if you want to get the item in here, which is just one red herb and a film a film roll, you can still get in there pretty quickly before they burst through the door, so you don't even have to do it then. And of course, if you don't want the film, you don't have to come here back. You don't have to come back here at all. You can just ignore it, so... Just activate the car key and get the get the the three burst shot from the car. Claire gets her own separate handgun from that. Cause in Claire B she actually starts or Claire's second run, she starts with a pretty crappy revolver that doesn't do much. It, it's actually worth it to switch it off. There you go, the famous gun stock for the Matilda. Everybody loves this, right? And it takes up a whole two a whole two item slots, which means you waste more bullets and you also have less space. Goody. Alright, so we did that. Um, I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't think you need to go um, over there right away, right? Hmm. Now, nah, let's go see. Oh yeah, you need the crank. Never mind, you do need the crank to open up the... Yeah, the crank is over there, right? I think... Yeah, I think you need you do need the crank to open up the gate over here. We don't have that yet. So yeah, we do have to go over here. I don't know, I haven't played this game in like six months, so I, I don't remember stuff. At least it looks like an actual jail cell in a precinct right before which is weird like they had they had a whole two cells large cells to hold people in I guess they hold them in like 10 at a time had no toilets whatsoever so no idea how people went to the restroom it was just a mess man it was just a freaking mess I think you do want to take care of this guy because um he will get back up later on when you're running past Mr. X and a whole bunch of zombies here and there is a chance he can actually grab you so you might as well do it now. It might seem like you're wasting ammo, but it's actually worth it. Because then he won't get up, so you don't have to worry about him. Yeah, they had at least these cells have toilets. And just letting you know, it makes no difference whatsoever if you kill these zombies. Uh, they will still be a lot less. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, they will still be a lot. I mean, they will still be the same amount. They're pursuing you. Along with Mr. X, so it makes no difference whether you kill them. The, the amount of zombies is not going to reduce. Oh yeah, there's a crank right there. Here's Ben, back from RE2. Hello. They really hey. changed his look. I was. I, don't it. I was really amazed at how live. different he looks here. <laughs> Hello, looks human? older. Looks a bit more like a nerd. He still has his little ponytail, but his hair is going gray no, instead no, of a brown or huh. reddish brown. That's good news, I guess. Yeah. That's of course Iron sent you. Irons? You mean Chief Irons? Is he still around? Who cares? Hopefully he's somebody's dinner by now. What do you mean by that? He's the bastard that locked me in here. I'm sure he had a good reason. He did. I was about to blow the whistle on his dirty ass. I'd have done the same thing to him, I guess. How dirty is his ass, Ben? Super dirty, mega dirty, or just a little bit dirty? Hey. Does he take regular showers and bathes, or is he a guy, one of those guys that only showers or bathes like, like every three days or once a week? I have to talk to the chief first. Liam, don't be an idiot. The chief is probably dead. I mean, we all know he's not, but from that, from his point of view, it could he could easily be dead. What? But what I don't get is why? Why would you get? Why would you put your your back against the wall? Stay with the bars where Liam can actually shoot back. Damn, there you go. This threat's his first appearance. That shocked a lot of people. Oh my God. Squished him like a grape. Who is that? It's just me. So I can put that thing away. I don't even know what happened. It just happened so quick. I told you to get out of here. You wouldn't want to end up like Ben, would you? You knew him? He was an informant. 
had information of use to my investigation. So what he said was true? Hey, you can't keep walking away from me! Damn, it's like, get your hands off me, pretty boy. Name. Ada is stacked, I'm though. Isn't she? She's been enhanced. Like Eva in Metal Gear Solid 3. Find a way out, Leon. Before it's too late. Raz look really good, then though. We'll talk. They should not have replaced that voice Ada. actress. I know people have said time and time again that you should not have replaced that voice actress because the whole diversity casting thing makes on. sense in, um, in live-action productions where you're seeing a person. You're seeing a person's ethnicity and whatever. But in voice acting, you want the best possible actor, not someone who's, um, you know, ethnically accurate. You know, because like you don't, you're not seeing the person. Like people would, people would hear Vamp, and Metal Gear Solid Two, and assume that's an actual Romanian guy doing the accent, some big, tall, strapping Romanian guy, and no, it's a skinny little black guy doing the voice. But he does such a convincing job as Vamp that you never question it once. You never question whether the actor is or is not Romanian. He just does that good of a job. You know. There's a panel we have to fix later. Ugh, what in the world? Damn, he got fucked up. He's going googly-eyed. One eye is looking one direction, the other is just looking upstairs. Towards heaven, I guess. But yeah, there was no reason to replace her. And then they replaced her with the actress from the Resident Evil movie, which is like... why? I'm sure she's a nice person in real life, but why would you replace her from the movie that almost everybody agreed was a gross insult to Resident Evil and all its characters? Like, why pick an, an actress for that movie? Pick from somewhere else. Like, get out of Noah. What's the actress that that play Melinda May in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Get her to do the voice. You can probably do a nice, sultry, uh, seductress voice, you know, playing a spy and all that for all those years. You can probably do that. You know, it's just, it was just stupid decision. It was just stupid decision. Like, like nobody's going to see the voice actress. And then on top of that, the voice director must have been distracted or something. So he didn't know how to... Um, how to direct her. Her voice sounds way deeper. Like she smokes a pack of cigarettes a day. It's just like. It was just way too much of a gross change. And then of course. Idiotic Resident Evil fans. Who are like the ex extremists of the fandom. You know the nutcases that everybody av avoids. They start blaming her and harassing the actress. And no it was just Capcom's own fault. Like Capcom just fucked. Com they just fucked up on a scale. You couldn't even imagine. That was the reason why. It, why um, it all went to hell. It does no good to complain at the actress. She's just doing her job. But the problem is... What the hell is that? I never noticed that before. Is that goo or is that gas? What the hell? Oh, it's sewage. Gross. I just realized that I noticed it's sewage. It's a seeping from the pipe leaking down into the car garage. It's gross. But yeah, it's like... They're blaming the actress and no, it's Capcom's fault. Capcom fucked up. They just screwed up plain and simple. If you're gonna complain, complain to Capcom or the voice director. Now I'm not I'm actually not that offended by the guys who have tried to mod in her voice using AI. That's a creative way to get around it. But yeah, it's just Ada's performance in Resident Evil 4 is just flat out wrong and terrible. And it's one of those situations where it is Capcom's fault. They're the ones who fucked up. Alright, let's insert the old clip. Get an extra 12 bullets. Let's take care of this dude before he bursts out of there. There you go. And of course, when you come here during the second run, uh, the liquors are chomping on them. So, how did, that's another inconsistency. You know, how did they get out if if Leon killed them all? Let's go use the crank and then go put it back. Oh yeah, there's no power, is there? Oh yeah, we can we can do it. You don't need power for that one. Yeah, because we have several items we gotta get from there. We gotta get a key, we gotta get an herb, we have a lot of stuff that we can get from there, so I don't wanna I'm gonna go back, put put away the um first let's read all the shotgun. There you go. Put away the herb, put away the cranks so we can get the remaining items.
get the yellow gunpowder, we can use that later. So yeah, it was just a mess. She should have just kept the original voice actress. She did a great job. And imagine doing a great job on that role and being proud of that role. And then you get... You realize that you're being replaced. You get notified. You get the notification that you're being replaced. And you're being replaced with someone who's much worse than you and doesn't give a crap about the performance. That's gotta hurt. You put all your time and invest all your energy into that character for that game. And then when the next game comes along... Not only do they not invite you back, they get someone who's far worse than you. You know, she's doubly worse than you were. Because... Because you were good and she's not. And then the voice director doesn't know what the hell he's doing either. So he misdirects the whole thing. And then the cap the company won't take accountability for it. It's just a freaking nightmare. Like, Jesus Christ. They've and it's funny. It is one of the the things that keeps the um, game from being a perfect remake of 4. The fact that they fucked up so heavily with uh, Ada's voice is it's just completely distracting. And some people have tried to say, oh, she sounds better that way, oh, because she sounds like a spy would, and blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. She sounds bored. She sounds bored as fuck. That she, like, she doesn't give a crap about anything that's going on or have any attachment to Leon whatsoever. You know, I get the fact that you feel bad for the actress and you like her, maybe for other performances. Yeah, let's uh, arrange everything neatly now that we have a lot of items. But, yeah, I get that you like her. Maybe you even liked her from the movie, but it's just, it's an awful performance directed in an awful way by a voice actor who probably didn't know what the hell... I mean, a voice director who didn't know what the hell he was doing. Like, you can't excuse it. There's just a... Um, it just sucks. So the dogs take one shotgun shell each. I think we're going to get upstairs and then we're going to save. They take one shotgun shell each, so... We should have enough. Because I think it's four of them. I wonder if we should keep the extra one or not. Let's see. The key, the herb, and... Yeah, I think... The other gunpowder and the, the gear. Yeah, I think we have enough. I think we have more than enough. We can go get those items and go upstairs. Oh, he has a flash grenade too. Ah, but we can just uh, load the last shotgun shell into the shotgun when we use it, so it's fine. Trying to make sure I did my math correctly. Maybe we lose the knife. Maybe we should lose the knife. Yeah, let's lo let's lose the knife for now, just for the moment, because I think uh, we don't need it. Because we're gonna take out all the dogs with the shotgun anyway, so. gonna use the uh, key to get the photo the, the photo roll because um if you do it that way you can actually get rid of the key later on when you go back and get to run for mr. X it 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 uh, prevents you from having to hold on to that key because if you if you don't use it at the door there this I think it's the diamond key if you don't use that key then what ends up happening is that um you get stuck with it and it's one less item slot where you're being pursued by Mr. X so it's one less item slot that you have to work with so I'd rather use the key now and then that way we can be sure you get rid of it let's get the herb so yeah that is my little rant on Ada's voice there so at least she's great in this version and like I said I, you, you can feel sorry for the actress but I honestly hope she isn't invited back um next time that they get the old actress or at least someone if you're gonna get an Asian voice at least one get someone who actually cares about the performance and two make sure the voice director actually knows what he's doing on that day because um like I said I don't get how he got Leon's voice right he got Wesker's voice right he got Ashley's Sattler's Ramon Salazar etc he got everyone right except for like um Ada and Krauser and Krauser was because of the voice actor so I have no idea what the fuck happened there None whatsoever.
I like to run from that guy because um, there's no point in bothering him. Oh, but the thing is, I remember if you, if you don't shoot him as Leon, he actually gets back up, so... I remember he gets back Shit. up and gets in your way. Oh, there we go. Damn, he died so hard he did a front row flip. Well, he won't be getting back up now, but yeah. Claire can avoid him because Claire doesn't need to go into the room with the uh, power panel. But if you don't kill him as Leon, then what happens is when you're coming back from there, running from the dogs, he's right here bursting out of the door. Or sometimes he even goes to, to the door and walks all the way over to where you are and just starts following you there. So it's best to just eliminate him. Just get rid of him as soon as possible. Actually, you know what? Um, Let's leave that guy in there for now. Because, yeah, this, it's the same thing with him. He's going to come back and uh, he's going to wander all over there. I don't want him to wander just, just yet. So we're going to get the key when we come back. Because when we come back, we're going to run into a dog there. We can just shoot him. You shoot the dog here. You shoot the one over there. And then we can just get the key and run for it. Because I don't want him wandering over here to this section. See how many items we have. We need one for the key, so. Gunpowder. Alright, we should have enough because we are actually going to um, use up one of the shells on the dock, so then we can insert the other shell and just shoot it so we should have more than enough yeah the only thing left is the uh, more key so yeah once we do this we'll go back to the morgue and then we'll get the key I forgot how this goes but let's just let's just do random trial and error Hope Silent Hill doesn't suffer from that voice acting problem like Capcom did. I hope they do a much better job with the voice acting for every character. Because obviously, like I said, Leon sounded great. Ashley sounded terrific. You know, Wesker sounded great, etc. It was just Ada and Krauser. And Krauser was just because of the voice actor's voice. It wasn't deep enough. But Ada was just a bad performance. So they really should not have let that pass. And I don't know why they did. Maybe it was just distracted staring at her. Yeah, lay down, dog. Yeah, maybe it was just distracted staring at a gorgeous beauty and uh, forgot to direct her properly. Maybe that's it. She just sounds old, too. Also, she sounds like she's uh, 45 or 50 years old instead of being a younger 20-something or 30-something spy. She just does not sound like Ada at all. And it sucks because it takes you out of the game. There you go. There's two more left, so we should be fine. So let's get our ma get our man out of the freezer here, get our key, and get the hell out of here. You don't want to pull it the whole way. There actually is a way to pull him. Um, if you do it just slightly before he stops, you can actually get the key without disturbing him, but I've only pulled it off once. It was a little delayed there, but yeah, I've, I've only pulled it off once. In all my time playing this, it's very difficult to pull it off without, um, without, um, not disturbing him. Without disturbing him. There you go. That's it for that dog. There's only one left, I believe. Yeah, so they're gonna wake up, so you wanna hurry over to this room as quickly as possible and get the, um... We are gonna, um, leave the photo behind. Because what I care about is the herb for the health, so we're gonna leave the photo behind. Oh yeah, they're coming. Let's use this. Let's 
see you. Alright, we're home free. Oh yes, this way. I forgot the other way is out. Claire's path. It's this way. There you go. We are home free. Not bad at all. I think we have... We didn't even take damage from anyone there, right? Just during the Birkin fight. Oh, this is what we need the boards for. This this piece of crap place. I, I gotta look up and see which window actually uh, has a zombie in it. Because you don't want to waste them on all of them. You only got a limited supply of boards. So you want to make sure um, you use the right one. Alright, let's get rid of that. Let's store that. Let's store this. So where's the other green herbs? Uh, here they are. I like to do them in order. That's my own unique OCD thing. I like to do everything in order. Alright, so we got plenty of health. We got plenty of gunpowder. Let's reload our gun. We might as well, right? Might as well. I don't think we'll need it that much, but we might as well reload and just put the measly three shells back in the storage box. Yeah, I gotta look up which which uh, window has a zombie in it because I don't want to waste the board. I've done that a couple times where I place it in the wrong in the wrong window and it's just a waste of the board because then the zombie still gets in anyway once you come back. So I want to be sure where I have to use it. One thing I don't like, they took away the, the Watchman's Diary. That was fun to read with his chest buddy and everything. He used to be here, laying dead on the floor, and there would be a Magnum clip right here. And it's not here anymore. His diary's not here anymore. They completely did away with that, which is kind of a shame, because that was a fun file to read. So, I don't think they should have taken it away, but... I'm not the one who makes decisions at Capcom. They are, and I guess they saw... I guess they didn't think it was necessary, so... Just combine that and store this. Store the magnum shells. We don't need them right now. Um, let's reload the gun. The good thing is it can now store... I think it can, yeah, it can store 24 shots. So you can just reload that fully. And it'll be fine. Let's keep this because we need it for now. And we're going to get a ink ribbon. We're going to save. So we've only gone like an hour and three minutes this time because I do want to record Spider-Man 2 so I can finish that up. But next time we'll record this, um, it probably won't be tomorrow because I have to do um, Throwback Thursday. Um, yeah, I do have to do Throwback Thursday with um, Donkey Kong Country 2 and Siphon Filter. But when we record next time, we'll probably go for like an hour and a half or maybe even two hours if I have the time. I just can't do it now because I have to record spider-man 2 so we can finish that up i can finally be free to i can finally be free of that damn game i can finally rid myself of it even though i liked it but again it, it doesn't hold a candle to the original so i'm glad to be done with it at this point i just have one more video to, video to do we can be rid of that and then we can start um dead space on friday which should be pretty good so um thank you for watching i will see you again next time on resident evil 2 remake on the ps5 See you later.